Hello and welcome to 245 Wonderly Avenue, Oakwood, Ohio. Here we're standing on the driveway looking at the front of the home and it looks like we don't have a garage, but there is a garage behind the house here. I'll walk up there and show you a look at that here real fast. But on the outside, gorgeous house, very cute. Got full brick with the stone accents in here. The roof is about a year old. That was a complete tear off and a re-roof. That's a 30 year dimensional shingle. The park is not too far that way. And then the shops of Oakwood are not too far that way as well. I think maybe one or two blocks away. So while we're here, we're just gonna walk up and I'll show you the backyard. Got a nice covered front porch. Right here, ceiling fan up there. All the windows have been updated in this home. And it's very, very nice, very, very cute. Side door going out here. And as you can see, full brick, and then a hard to find two car garage and Oakwood. And very private behind here. We do have two air conditioners. There is a dedicated air conditioner for the second floor uh, with an air handler up there because with these Cape Cods, they do get very hot up there. So one is for the first floor and one is for the second floor. Um, the main furnace and air conditioner are just a couple years old and very nice two-car garage, additional parking, could throw a basketball hoop up here, could have another shed or another you know, patio or kind of private area. So, and even the garage is uh, almost all brick as well. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. Very, very cute in here. Original hardwood floors, they're in very good shape and I love these doors. Uh, most of the doors in the home are this style, which are all solid. This is the coat closet right here. Nice little archway going into the dining room, crown molding throughout here. And again, windows have been updated. The fireplace, this was converted over to gas. So this is a working gas fireplace here. And from the living room flows into the dining room. And a good sized dining room. You could get a bigger table than that in here for sure if you needed one. We have two bedrooms this direction, and then the kitchen this direction. Updated ceramic tile in the kitchen here. Big built-in pantry cabinets to the left, and that goes from floor to ceiling. Cutting board countertops in the kitchen. Gas range does stay, the microwave stays as well. Around the corner here is that side door that we saw, and then the basement stairs go down right there. We'll check that out momentarily. Dishwasher does stay, built-in wine rack. As you can see, this kitchen was completely updated. Very nice, the gigantic farmhouse sink in here. Refrigerator stays as well. And this little butcher's pantry, this stays also, as does the cup holder. And the shelves over here as well, so great kitchen. There's the door that goes down to the basement. We'll look at that here in a minute. Let's go check out the first floor bathroom, the two bedrooms while we're up here. Now this door right here goes to the second floor and this is a big second floor on this house. It's not the typical small that you see. Um, updated vanity, updated ceramic tile. Kind of have the bead board in here, newer toilet. And the shower tub is all tiled. Very clean, very good shape here. Again, I love those doors. A built-in linen cabinet right there. Bedroom number one, and I may have these bedrooms different like on the MLS, like one, two, or three, but this is the first one we walked into, so I'm gonna call this bedroom number one. We do have a ceiling fan in here, which is nice to help with the energy efficiency. And then bedroom number two, this is on the back left, and the other one was on the back right. Um, good size closet over here with that door, and this is a pretty good size bedroom. Next, I'm gonna go take you, uh, since we're right here, I'm gonna take you upstairs. I'll meet you up there. All right, so here I just came up the stairs and I said it's bigger than what looks. This is not it. This is just the hallway going up to it. But the first door we come to is a closet here and this is a huge closet, plenty of storage. And this is actually gonna be a recurring theme up here is storage. This is that air handler. That is just for the air conditioning for the second floor. And there is an extra door here that the, you know, extra original door, but tons of 
storage space in here. This is all floored. You don't have to duck. You can walk right in here. It's very clean, not dirty. Very, very nice here. Uh, obviously, a little desk area. And then two huge sliding closet doors here. And this closet is massive as well. It is, looks like probably a 32 inch door and that closet comes all the way over to here. So it goes back behind there. So just a huge amount of storage. We have three huge closets plus the storage area. A little nook right here, could have another desk. And then two bedrooms up here. So this is a true four bedroom home. And very neat with all of the kind of the architectural little come down things. That's a professional term, come down things. Two closets here, and this is a cedar closet over here on this side. It's a good size, and then this is a good size closet over here as well. So a lot of times in these uh, Cape Cod style homes, you don't see a lot of closet storage, but you have it on this one. And all the carpet up here is in very good shape and is not that old either. So two bedrooms. Uh, you really, you have enough space where you could, if you wanted a full bathroom up here, uh, you could add one. You have multiple different possibilities of places that you could put it. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here it just came down to the basement. Once we come down the stairs, immediately to our right, we have our newer train furnace and just a couple years old on the water heater as well. And then this is uh, partially finished down here. This is all storage, which obviously this could easily be finished off and made a rec room, pool table room, family room, theater room. But we do have another room down here that is, is finished off, which we'll check out here. This fridge does not stay, but it is negotiable. All of the kitchen stuff does stay. This is our second full bathroom. And again, we have that possibility that you could maybe put something on the second floor to make it a three full bathroom home. But vanity here, uh, not very old. And then there's our commode. This is all tiled floor. And then a you know, step up walk-in shower right there. So again, it's not finished, but it is very much finished off. Um, this is our utility area here, our mud sink and our washer and dryer. These do not stay, but they are negotiable, as is this. This is not attached to the wall. It's just a freestanding. That wasn't going to stay, but it can stay if uh, it's something that you wanted. Our updated electrical panel is right here. And then more storage over here. It's kind of a circular floor plan that goes underneath the stairs over here. But there is also a big bonus storage room. And this is a big room. All of the holiday decorations are stored in here. I mean, you can put some more shelves in here. You can get some serious, serious storage in this house. And that's one thing that a lot of these houses lack is storage to put all that crap that you don't need. And this is kind of the finished off family room area that we see in here. Glass block windows. I think everywhere in the basement is glass block windows. Got the saloon doors, that's very cool. And that is a working um, gas fireplace there as well. So we've seen the first floor, we've seen the second floor, we've seen the third floor. Now you've seen 245 Warnerly Avenue. I'm gonna meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you. A house like this in Oakwood with a two car garage with two bathrooms and this much space does not come along that often at this price. And if you check, this is a very competitively priced home. So give us a call today. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks for watching.